Yo, Mikey, Raf, Leo. Yo, you guys in here? I guess not. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Mike Melinda here, coming to you from an exclusive location. I'm inside the Turtle Lair for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows. I had a chance to catch up with the cast today to talk about the movie. It's going to be crazy. Tyler Perry was in there giving us all kind of gems. I'm going to hang out here with you guys. Check out the interview. I'm going to shoot some basketball in the Turtle Lair like Steph Curry with the shot, boy. Leonardo. He's our fearless leader. Let's light him up. Raphael's like a cuddly teddy bear. If big cuddly teddy bears were incredibly violent. That's how I roll. That's how you roll. Donatello, he's a technical genius. How you doing up there, Donnie? Yeah! I'm doing awesome. And I'm Michelangelo. I'm a triple threat. Brains, brawn, and a dazzling personality. <laughs> Mikey. Guys, I got a lead on what's going on. We'll build an army. <laughs> Gear up, guys. <laughs> Bring back the Mohawk. Good for you. Oh, oh, oh. y'all got jokes, huh? Gunchuck's gigantic. Do we want to go down swinging? These guys hit harder than anyone. Those things are pretty awesome, huh? Yeah, pretty awesome! First of all, it's an honor to be sitting here with Mr. Perry. Appreciate it. When it comes to just the, you know, the versatility of your brand, you know, your empire, your growing empire, how important is it for you to, to have films that can reach young people, even like your son, he'll be able to watch the film in a couple of years. So yeah. how, how exciting is that for you? That's the reason I said yes, because I wanted to be able to do something that he could, he could look at and watch really soon, as opposed to you know he'll he'll be 18 before he's 20 before he's gone, girl or something. But, but um, just wanted him to have something to see other than Medea from me. So yeah, it was one of the leading factors in saying yes. So it's very important to me. Absolutely, it's like a big responsibility to you know make content that you know he could watch at a young age. But sure, sure. When it comes to just you making that content, just period. Um, you know, there's a lot of responsibility that you have to kind of tell a story for all genres. What are some of the strategies that you've had when it comes to just reaching people of all ages? Uh, well, for me, I just, even in the, the Madea movie that I'm doing, I just, I, uh, we, we went out and got a bunch of social media stars who have huge followings right. to come and put them in the movie so we can all, they can bring their audience, I can bring mine, and we can all come together and mesh because it's it's important to me that the messages in the story, the stories that I'm tell, telling be heard by everyone. Right, yeah. yeah. You know, earlier you mentioned fatherhood. I wanted to talk to you about the responsibility of, of being a father and I have an opportunity to talk to a lot of great leaders and they always say it's, you know, it's one of the most just rewarding experiences that they've had. Uh, what have been some of the most rewarding parts for you and have you had a chance to hear your son, you know, call you daddy yet? Or? Papa, he calls me Papa. Papa. Yeah, yeah, and it's pretty, it's pretty surreal to hear it. You know, coming down the hall, I hear this little boy saying his little feet calling me Papa, coming around the corner. It's all surreal, man. Every bit of it, and all the cliches that they hear, where people say, "Oh, it's life changing," is all, all of it's real. Every cliche is true, man. It's, wow. it's amazing. No doubt. Yeah. Okay, so from Rolling Out Magazine, you know, we call Atlanta home. So I gotta ask. Uh, people in Atlanta are nervous. They feel like you might be leaving. I mean, is there a reason why you sold your home? I mean, you got a big studio there, but are you are you kicking an ATL to the curb or what's I'm, going yeah, on? Yeah, well, I'm I'm leaving Atlanta for Douglasville, so I just oh. bought property in Douglasville. <laughs> just down twenty a little bit. Yeah, I just needed. I wanted to uh, horses and farm and all this oh, nice. stuff, so I just wanted space. So nice, nice. and to be out of the city, I just it was uh, a bit much being in the city. Talk about that. I mean, just finding that that place of peace and comfort mm -hmm. that you can just be at all the time, yep. you know. What does that mean for you to be able to get away and just kind of have that space to yourself? Well, you listen, you have to in this business, and I build in breaks for myself so that I can have time to just do nothing, think about nothing, and just be, just yeah. be. And, and part of my move is just to be out in the woods, in nature, so that I can have some of those moments when I'm working. So are you going to have a farm? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Chickens and all that. Chickens, cows, goats, you name it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, obviously, you've come from, you know, so far, you know, in your life. We all know, you know a lot of people have heard about your story and how far you've come. Um, in what way is it 
gratifying for you to be able to create this opportunity for your son that it was completely different from from you growing up oh it's you know what as as wonderful and as amazing as it is for him to have this life and to grow up in it but for me it's also very healing because it's almost like i'm doing it for myself for the little boy that i was so i get to help him in the same way so it, it's uh it's powerful, man. I, and just because he was born into privilege doesn't mean that he doesn't have to work. You know, he's gonna. He was born broke. He got to go yeah. to work. He's yeah. got. He's got to find his own way. I'll be there to help guide him. But he, he nobody. He's he's not gonna have everything handed right. to him. Well, you've got a great work ethic, so yeah. you know, I'm sure it'll probably be passed I, on. I in. sure hope so, man. Uh, I sure it, hope so. I want to change gears real quick. Uh, since your deal that you have with Lionsgate, you know, it's, Hollywood has come a long way. Mm -hmm. How do you feel like uh, Hollywood's changed when it comes from a diversity standpoint since when you first came in the game? Yeah, well, for me, I was the only person out there for 10 years. There was no per other person of color, no other person, persons of color on television, no other films with black people for 10 years. So I think now to see that there's more uh, of us working and on shows, I think it's, it says a lot about uh, how far we've come. But again, there's still a lot, a lot further to go. Great. Well, you know, hilarious film. Loved your character in the movie. Thank I you. mean, I think you've, you, you offer so much on screen. So really excited to see more from you. So thanks again. Thank you very appreciate much. It. I appreciate it. Thank wow. you. Thank you again. Thank you. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thanks a lot.